everything in God's kingdom operates by faith. And if anybody got healed, uh, Jesus never said to them that God has healed you, I have healed you, but he always said your faith has healed you. Your faith has delivered you. And therefore, to experience anything from the kingdom of God, we have to have faith. The currency in Britain is pounds. The currency in my country is rupees. The currency to experience anything from God is faith. Praise God. Praise God. Now, as my brother said about faith, we all have come here because of faith. But the kind of supernatural things that happen in our life is based on Bible faith and not natural human faith. Everybody seated here have got faith, which is called as a natural human faith. For example, my brother Winston is sitting on the chair and all of a sudden the chair can't take his weight and he falls down. Praise God. The moment somebody sees that he has fallen down, the ones who are slim and trim have no problem, but the persons who are heavier than him will say, I think mine is the next number. <laughs> now, that kind of faith that you got, or the thinking that you got, was based on what you saw. So, such kind of natural human faith does not produce supernatural results. The results that come is when a person believes in a faith that comes through the word of God. And I want to tell you, before we open the door, we will see amazing miracles happening in this place. And the best part that I want to teach you is that these miracles will not happen through my hands. Once you understand the basic principles of faith, then you also can use the power of faith and get ourselves healed and each other healed. Is that good? Yeah. Hello. Is that good? Come on. Is that good? Yes. Good. So, Father, we thank you. We praise you, Lord. Everybody's heart is open to listen to this teaching. And Lord, without your Holy Spirit, all these things are not possible. So, Holy Spirit, thank you that you have brought us here as we turn to you, Father. By the power of your Spirit, Lord, prepare our hearts to understand. Yes to understand the basics, fundamentals of faith so that we not only understand, we apply it in our life, in our everyday life. And through this faith, we are able to have an intimate, deeper relationship with you like never before. Thank you for the great signs, wonders and miracles that you're going to do in our midst. Lord, all this we bow down to you. It is your glory. We praise you. We adore you. For you are the living God. And you are here in our midst to teach us, to preach us, and to manifest your glory with accompanying signs and wonders. Thank you for all this, almighty God, in the glorious name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, my... my when I ask you questions, please don't misunderstand me that I'm trying to check how much you know, okay? The questions are asked only that we learn better. Is that okay? Yeah. Hello, is that okay? Yeah. Praise God. Do you believe that God will set you free? Yes. Does God set us free? Yes. yes. Let's see what the Bible has to say. Okay? Open your Bibles to John chapter 8 and let's see uh, what is God saying? Is he going to set us free? God 
Gospel of John, chapter 8, and verse number 13. Have you opened your Bible? Are we ready? Are we ready? As Jesus spoke these words, as Jesus spoke these words, many believed on him. Wow! How does belief come when words are spoken, words are preached, teached, belief comes. So there were many when Jesus began to speak, began to believe. Then Jesus said to those Jews which believed in him, If you continue in my word, if you, can we repeat that? Continue. If you continue in my word, then you are my disciples indeed, and you shall know the truth, and the Lord will set you free. Did Jesus say the Lord will set you free or the truth will set you free? So if I do not get freedom, where's the problem? Amen. So is God the problem, the devil the problem, somebody else is the problem, or I am the problem? So for me to get freedom from anything, I need the truth. And this truth I will only receive and apply when I continue in his word. So if I do not know his word, will I ever know his truth? No. And if I don't know his truth, will I ever get my freedom? No. I will be living a life of misery, whereas God in his love has made provision for me to experience my freedom to experience my healing, to experience my deliverance and live a victorious life. So the first thing is, if we have come this afternoon, we have not come for healing, we have not come for blessing, we have not come for miracles, we have come to know the truth and when we apply the truth, the truth will not only set us free, but keep us free all the days of our life. And not only that, we can go and teach others the truth so that they too are set free. Is it a good news or a bad news? Amen. Good news. good news. Praise God. Now, next question is, how many of you believe that God will give you victory? Yes. Uh, I understand. My English is a little, little uh, please, please bear with my English. How many of us believe that God gives us victory? Yes. Yes. yes or no? Yes. 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 Okay, let's see another scripture to check who gives us victory. 1 John chapter 5, verse number 4. <coughs> Not the gospel, the first letter of John, chapter 5, and verse number 4. Yeah, sister, you can read it. Yeah, you can read it, please. Chapter 5. 1 John chapter 5, verse 4. First book of John. 1 5, 4. For, so, for whatsoever is begotten of God overcometh the world. And this is the victory that has overcome the world. Even our faith. So did he say God gives you victory? Uh, you read the whole scripture just now. I did. <laughs> faith. So, so it, what, what is the Lord saying? Whosoever is born of God, are we all believing in Jesus? Yes. yes. Are we baptized in Jesus? Yes. yes. Has he given us his Holy Spirit? Yes. 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 So we are overcomers. We overcome the world. Now let's take for example, 
I have got one kg piece of iron and I throw it into the water. What happens to that iron? Sinks. It sinks. I've got 10 kg log of wood, one piece, and I throw it into the same water. What happens? Flows. In the same way, when we were born from a mother's womb, we were born destined to fail, destined to live a cursed life because we were born in sin. But the day we got born again, the Holy Spirit came into us and we were made a new creation. And from the time that we made a new creation, in us God has put a power by which we, by default, are overcomers. We overcome the world.